everybody. Welcome back to DJ Mark 2000 with Rock My Bean. And we are going to do uh, a 70s disco song that you probably uh, would like it. It's, uh, it's a soundtrack of some kind of a movie. Mm -hmm. Would you uh, would you like? Uh, uh, would, uh, it's from uh, like Disco Fever or well, this this no this was just a disco song. Yeah, I don't think it was in a movie at all. I think this was just a this popular disco song in the nineteen seventies. Yeah, it was a popular disco song in the nineteen seventies, which was uh, which, which the video was recorded on uh, you know MTV. No, MTV wasn't around then. That didn't come until 1980. So this was 1970s? This was 1970s. It might have been on, on some TV shows, like it was been on Soul Train. Uh, uh, Top or, Pop. And, well, yeah, it might have been Top Pops in Europe, but Soul Train, yeah. and, Soul Train in America, for sure. Yeah. It uh, might have been uh, on one of those TV shows. Yeah. Uh, like a Midnight Special and things like that. Yeah. But there was no MTV at that time, but they did have live performances. So yeah. It, I think it was on one of those shows as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let's listen I'm now. I'm old enough to remember this. So. Let's listen now to Le Freak from okay. uh, from Chic. Let's okay. listen well, let's now. Let's listen in. Three, two, one, go. One, two. Oh, I freak out. Le Freak. C'est Chic. Sure they can be done Young and old 
Thank you so much. Let Freaks Chic. That was a really good song, wasn't that it? That was a big classic uh, yeah. disco song in the late 70s. Yeah, it was real popular. It and, was, uh, it was real... definitely in all the discos, mm -hmm. um, roller rinks as well. Um, yeah. And the song they mentioned, Come Down to 54. Yeah. That was, that was a big disco place in New York City in 1970. Yeah. is called Studio 54. And yeah. all the famous people would go there. So you had, you could only go there if you had were famous or had money. Okay? Yeah. But it was a big place to go. And uh, is that the... I know I uh, 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 Debbie Harry went there and others uh, to dance at Studio Fifty Four. And after yeah. they were singing about it, the uh, is, that, uh, is that is that place still? Uh, I don't exist? know. I doubt it. But it did in the back in you know, fifty years ago. Forty. Yeah. Years ago. <laughs> uh, but was, this this is a, a this 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 song was part of the typical. Disco music rotation on radio yes. stations in the seven, late seventies. I heard it a billion times, but it's a good dance song. I mean, it wasn't a great song, but it was a yeah. good dance song. Yeah, it had that typical seventies uh, guitar, a lot of funkiness in that yeah. bass. So it was a little bit of funk music in disco, which I like funk music. I'm not as big on disco, but I like funk. But when you combine them, it was a great dance song. Yeah. I love disco, yes, so, love yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, I love 80s disco, 90s disco, and 70s disco. He likes disco. Yeah, he I love disco. <laughs> all, all time disco. Fan. Yeah, even we're going to do Gloria Gaynor, are we? So well, that's a, that, <laughs> that was another big hit in the 70s, Gloria yeah. Gaynor, yeah. And can we uh, can we do it after this video or we, someday we can? Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to do it because I had, I was a DJ once and I had to play this song so much I want to be sick. <laughs> but it was a very popular song <laughs> and it was song popular for like weddings for years and years afterwards. So yeah, I think you're gonna have to do it. Even uh, even that song uh, from uh, Bill Medley and uh, Jennifer Warner yeah, is what we did. Yeah, we did. But this one this one you're talking about. The Gloria Gaynor yeah, yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. The, the harmonics was it, even played. Yeah, but it was it was popular for almost fifty years. I mean, it was popular yeah. for years later. And all, you go to a wedding or, or or a dance, and they would play that song. So, <laughs> and I know because I played it. So, it was like it, it, there was the Macarena. Yeah. Know, this song though, Gloria Gaynor's song, uh, what was it called again? Um, I will survive. Yes. Was popular for every decade since the seventies. Yes. And in the seventies, so it was that had a long shelf life. Yeah. Yeah, and is uh, Gloria Gaynor still playing? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, so uh, we're going to do uh, our next one, the Gloria Gaynor song. Uh, coming back to uh, Le Freak, uh, 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 Le Freak Chic. Mm -hmm. It's a very popular song. In the it was, a very, yeah, it was, it was a very popular song in the, in the 70s, and lots of, uh, lots of 70s disco lovers were like, were like, um, uh, you they, know, they were, they were, they were, boogie, uh, yeah, boogie did that song, yeah. and exactly. and we're you know, in the nineteen yeah. seventies, uh, in the nineteen seventies, was the best decade to be young. Well, yeah, it, it was, was the best decade to be young. It was a great time for music. That's yeah, it was a great time for disco music, oh, yeah. even to be a kid because well, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was I was a, a kid. I was a teenager. So it was a good time. Yeah. I mean, we got a little tired of disco after a while because it was in everything. <laughs> you couldn't turn around and play disco. So it got a little tiresome because they overdid it. They overdid it. But there was some good music in the discos, and it was fun to yeah. go to a disco. Fun to go to a roller rink and do roller disco. Yeah, but except the village people. Well, I don't course. know about them, but they were popular too. Yeah. But but I'm just saying we enjoyed when we went to dance or went to go roller skating. Yeah. They had they had roller boogie or roller disco. Yeah. So you'd, disco, you'd, you'd wear your disco outfit on with roller skates. Yeah. And this was a very popular song. Yeah. Songs. I have uh, three shirts of disco. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this guy's a serious disco aficionado. <laughs> but that's when it all started. It all began yeah. in the 70s. And everything since then came from the 70s. I'm calling myself a disco prodigy. Okay, there you prodigy. go. So thank you so much for listening with us to uh, uh, Le Freak Chic. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to stay happy, keep smiling, and keep, keep dancing, dancing on. on.